Welcome students. Today we will solve sixth problem of kinematics of particles. So let us start today's lecture. So let us read the statement. A thief's car had a start with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square. A police vigilant party came after 5 seconds and continued to chase the thief's car with a uniform velocity of 20 meter per second. Find the time taken in which the police car will overtake the thief's car. So we are given this situation. We are given thief's car and it is mentioned in the question that thief's car had a start with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square. So that means initially the thief's car was at rest. So let us assume that point of rest as point B. And thief's car had a start of 2 meter per second square from that point. And a police vigilant party came after 5 seconds. Means after the start of thief's car, police reached point B after 5 seconds. And continued to chase the thief's car with a uniform velocity of 20 meter per second. Now we have to find what time police car will take to overtake the thief's car. So in this question, we are given acceleration of thief's car as 2 meter per second square. And we are given uniform velocity of police car as 20 meter per second. So from the given question, it is very much clear that the motion of thief's car is uniformly accelerated motion because thief's car had a start with an acceleration of 2 meter per second square. It means for the motion of thief's car, three equations are applicable. Those are V is equal to U plus AT, S is equal to UT plus half AT square, V square minus U square is equal to 2AS. But police car is moving with uniform velocity. It means for the motion of police car, only one equation is applicable that is x is equal to x0 plus vt. Now let us assume that police car overtakes thief's car at point C. And let us first talk about the motion of police car. And we know the motion of police car is uniform motion. And only one equation is applicable that is x is equal to x0 plus vt. And we will consider the motion of police car between point B and C. Because thief's car had a start from point B. And we will consider motion of police car from point B to point C. Because it is mentioned that thief's car had a start from point B. And police car reached that point after 5 seconds. It means for these two cars we will consider their motion from B to C only. And we will consider the motion of police car from point B to point C. Because thief's car is traveling from point B to C only. So for both the cars we will consider common motion that is from B to C. And let us assume that distance between B and C is X units. And let us assume that police car takes T seconds to cover that distance. It means for the uniform motion of police car, we can write equation as X is equal to X naught plus UT, where X is the distance between point B and C, and X naught is the initial distance which is zero in this case because we are considering motion of the police car from B to C only. And U is the uniform velocity of police car which is given in the quotient as 20 meter per second. And T is the time taken by police car to cover that distance from B to C. So let us put the values in this equation. Then we will get another equation that is X is equal to zero plus 20 T. So in this equation we have two unknowns x and t. So let us call this equation as equation number one for time being. Now we'll observe motion of thief's car. 
Now thief's car will also travel same distance that is from B to C and that distance is also X units. But thief's car will take T plus 5 seconds to cover that distance because it is mentioned in the question that after the start of thief's car from point B, police car took 5 seconds to reach to that point. It means if we have assumed that police car took t seconds to cover this distance, then thief's car will take 5 extra seconds than the time taken by the police car. It means for thief's car time taken will be t plus 5 seconds. And we know thief's car has a uniformly accelerated motion. It means three equations are applicable. But from those three equations, we will choose second equation that is s is equal to ut plus half at square. Because in the first equation, v is equal to u plus at and in the third equation, v square minus u square is equal to 2as, we have final velocity. And we don't have any information on the final velocity of thief's car. So we cannot use first and third equation. So we'll prefer second equation that is s is equal to ut plus half at square. So in that equation, s is the distance traveled by thief's car from point B to point C, that is x units. u is the initial velocity of thief's car. t is the time taken by thief's car to cover that distance, which is t plus 5. A is the acceleration of the thief's car and T is again time taken by thief's car from B to C. Now in this equation the initial velocity of thief's car is zero because it is mentioned in the question that thief's car had a start means thief's car was at rest initially. So we will put U equal to zero and T is T plus five. A is given to us as 2 meter per second square. Again, T is T plus 5. So put these values, we will get a new equation as x is equal to 0 into T plus 5 plus half into 2 into T plus 5 whole square. So from here, we will get x is equal to T plus 5 whole square. Now in this equation, we have two unknowns x and t. So we cannot solve this equation. Let us call this equation as equation number 2. Now we have two equations and in these two equations we have two unknowns that is x and t. It means we can solve these two equations. And moreover the left hand side of these two equations is the same so we can equate their right hand side also. So we will compare equation number 1 and equation number 2. Then we will get t plus 5 whole square is equal to 20t. Then we will use this formula a plus b square and we will get t square plus 25 plus 10 t equal to 20 t. Now we will move this term on the left hand side and we will get t square minus 10 t plus 25 equal to 0. And you can see this equation will reduce to t minus 5 whole square. And from here we will get value of t as 5 seconds. So police car will take 5 seconds to overtake the thief's car. So we have got our answer. And I hope this answer is clear to you. Thank you very much.